How's it going, y'all? So we are at our first stop. This is where we stayed last night, but we got here so late that it didn't make sense to record. Um, but I am here at Toadstool Geographical Park, and they call it Toadstool because of these things right here. They look kind of like toadstools. And basically, they they created the sediment layers, and then a river used to run through here, and it wore away the lower layers, which is why there's a, a larger top part, but not as much in the middle, which gives it that toadstool shape. But it's pretty crazy. And it's, I feel like no one really talks about this. Like it was even hard to find, but it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of fossils and stuff out here, obviously not for like collecting, but um, a lot of like prehistoric mammals and those sort of things. So that was cool to read up on, but yeah. This is our first stop. Follow on, along for more. Cameron's um, not with me right now, so I'm just kind of exploring a little bit, but stay tuned. What did we do to yesterday, Cameron? Uh, yesterday, we woke up at Toadstool, got to see some really beautiful rocks. Um, I sat on a rock, it was a lot of fun. And then after that, we went to the zoo. Yes. In Scotts Bluff, mm -hmm. it was Riverside um something zoo and it was a good time um we got to meet their bear smoky it was pretty cool mm -hmm. we also interviewed some ducks yes. you'll see that in an upcoming video the other thing we got to do is got to go to the we were in casper wyoming we yes. got to go to the science zone which is a super cool thing it's only five dollars to get in you get to see a lot of reptiles which was awesome but you also, it is a lot of sciencey stuff. So mm -hmm. if, even if it's, I mean, we only have adults with us on the trip and we entertained ourselves for a solid couple hours. Oh, so yeah. it was a good time. Um, They're also except updating. for when I ask you if you have kids and you're like, ah, no, and it's, you know, whatever. But um, they are soup updating. would definitely recommend. They're putting in a, a new exhibit yes. right now. So when you guys come in, they'll have something different than what we got to see, mm -hmm. um, which is lots of fun. And now we woke up and came to see some waterfalls first thing in the morning. A great way to start the day. Um, it was a very uphill walk, but it was a lot of fun. And this is uh, Rotary Park, yes. right outside of Casper, Wyoming. Next up, we're gonna go to see some fossil stuff. The next day should be almost entirely fossils, which I, I'm gonna assume Cameron's gonna do a lot more of the talking in because I'm gonna be pretty overwhelmed with that. O overwhelmed, uh, excited. Exci well, in a good way, <laughs> overwhelmed, I guess. Yes. Uh, but yeah, that was a little update. Um, we look forward to showing you some more. Uh, stay tuned. So we just got to Tate Geologic Museum and I needed to nerd out about something. Right outside, it's not open yet, but right outside, there's this. Cameron is still getting out of the car and all that, but I ran over because this is so cool. There's this T-Rex, right, obviously. But on one side, it's a skeleton, and on the other side, it's a T-Rex. And this is everything that my child, Cole, would have ever wanted in his life. I'm, having, I'm, in, I'm in heaven. This is heaven, guys. Okay, stay tuned for more fossil-y things. Cameron's coming. Get the keys. <laughs> hey, everybody. We uh, had some problems with road construction and not being able to make it to our campsite in time so we figured if we're gonna be late make the most of it and we are now doing a scenic drive to look for some wild horses in Wyoming so Barbie what's your what's your thoughts my thoughts I think this is actually pretty stinking cool there's some cool slate <laughs> falling down like in layers it that's is, all I can think <laughs> it is gorgeous um, we haven't yet gotten to the point where we can see the horses, but... Maybe the horses are seeing us, but we don't see the horses. That is possible. Maybe this is their opportunity to watch humans, too. It's like, it's both ways. Heck yeah. Um, it's a conspiracy. Horses aren't real, it's the government. I'm just kidding. We also ended up taking a detour and um, finding another... Museum. That's the word. Yeah, was... Another museum in... Rock Springs, Wyoming, and it takes place inside of a college. Uh, so you can tour through the college and see different exhibits of 
they also have a little scavenger hunt hidden in there, which is really fun. Um, highly, highly recommend if you ever get a chance to come out to Wyoming. So there was something shiny over there. And, uh, all the time. Might be a garnet. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, speaking of garnets, we heard if you're ever in the Rock Springs area, um, south of Rock Springs, if you see ant hills and you see something shining in it, allegedly ants will bring garnets to the surface and Wyoming's like famous for it which is also coincidentally me and Barbie's birthstone. Heck yeah. yeah! So yeah, pretty yeah. cool. So we, we are hoping to maybe get a, an opportunity to look for some garnets later in the week when we come back through Wyoming on our trip home. So keep on the lookout. We will be updating later. If we find anything. If we don't. Probably won't see them. Sorry. How's it going, y'all? Um, today we are in Kemmer. We learned what we said wrong in previous videos. Kemmer, Wyoming, which is a place that's known for fossils and those sort of things. One of the biggest fossil fish lake in the uh, world. And we're gonna go fossil hunting today. Before we did, we needed energy. So we went to a place called Place on Pine for food. Would definitely recommend. It was amazing. Um, and then we're at a coffee shop right now that has the most creative name for a coffee shop I have ever seen. Because it's a, it's a town known for fossils. And it's called Fossil Fuel. That's hilarious. That's that's hilarious. I love it. Uh, this is also, fun fact, the town that J.C. Penney was first founded in. And you can't really see it because there's a tent in the way. But the original J.C. Penney just looks like a, uh, like a small town craft store sort of vibe. Which is uh, insane. Um, I also learned that J.C. Penney's name was like... Uh, I think it was John Cash or something like that, which is wild. Anyway, just a little update. We will record more videos of um, fossiling here in a bit, but just a little update as to where we are. are now on day five out of eight in our hunt for flint we feel like we're getting really close um i can sense it we're gonna see him soon um today we went to the hogel zoo in salt lake city and then we just stopped by animal art forum to see if they had any input on where flint might be um and now we are gonna spend some time at bridalville falls which is in Provo Canyon here in Utah, um, and uh, I'm trying to think, what did we do yesterday? What did we do? I don't know. We, what what we, did we, we do? We did the fossil hunting, and then after <laughs> fossil hunting was all done, we spent a good four and a half hours driving to our campsite. And so, then we swam. Yes. Um, we did get some pretty gnarly sunburns. Um, yep. They're not a great time. My knees got it real bad. Um, <laughs> but they are fading. They're going to start feeling soon. Gotta love it. Um, so we'll be a little extra colorful when we meet Flint. Yeah. We will keep you posted on next things to come. And hopefully you'll get to see us with Flint in the near future. Bye, guys.
So do they just see different shades of gray? Do they see just one gray? Do they even see the gray? I don't know. And do the animals that aren't colorblind or see t different ways like ultraviolet, do they see a bigger rainbow? This needs answered. This needs answered. Let me know if you know it. When are you starting? You're already going, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 